Drew Fredrickson, congratulations. Uh, you've been selected as the Wisconsin State Journal, WisconsinPrepZone.com, and Madison.com uh, Boys Basketball Player of the Year. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Uh, for you, uh, when you look back on this season, it's kind of a dream season. You had some disappointment a year ago, but uh, was there a certain turning point or a point where you thought this might be possible? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, after how last year ended and everything, uh, you, you get so close. Uh, you just you want it so much more. So uh, this year, we came into the season, we knew we were going to be good, and uh, started out pretty well. And then we had that little lull with four losses in a row. But you know, we didn't uh, we didn't think that we weren't going to make it just because of that. So we uh, took a good look in the mirror at ourselves and, and figured out what we what we could do as as individuals to help our team. And uh, just kind of got on a roll at the end of the year there and uh, rolled that momentum all the way through the playoffs and. Took it to the state tournament and won a couple games there, so it was yeah, it was pretty memorable. Uh, the Barnevelda and Mount Horb are connected. Uh, some sports have been co-ops, and they're so close. And the girls win it. You got to be thinking, oh wow, a week later that you know that could be you guys, and sure enough, it was. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You, you, you know, obviously, everybody from Barnevelda knows Mount Horb people, and everybody from Mount Horb knows Barnevelda. So uh, it was pretty cool that the girls could win it from over there, and, and then we could win it. Uh, Obviously, with Hannah getting it for the girls too, for the girls' player of the year, it was pretty cool. Just talking to it with you know a lot of my friends too, just you know two small town kids uh, getting player of the year with all these Madison schools. So yeah, it was pretty cool. Uh, you look back. Uh, do you have a role model, somebody who's got it in and out of the classroom on the court, or that uh, has kind of helped helped you over the years? I mean, my dad has always been there for me for sure. Well, Going up to the gym and late nights and early mornings and that sort of thing, always been uh, always been with him. So I would say uh, he's definitely gotten me not only in basketball but definitely uh, you know helped me out in school and everything. And always telling me that you know that's uh, that comes first. You know, student athlete. So uh, definitely, I'd say my dad's been my uh, my biggest role model in my life for sure. How about on a team? Uh, is there some a, a teammate either when you first started or you know up through senior year that has inspired you the most? I would say probably Quinn Lazar. I mean, we uh, when we first got together as uh, little kids and we started playing together, you know, third, fourth grade. He was the uh, he was the other kid that used to drive me, you know, uh, to to work hard because he would be better at uh, different things, and it would make me mad because I wanted to be good at those things. So then we would uh, we would always work out together, you know, all the time growing up. We played on the same AU team together, so you know, to end our senior years together and and win a state championship. I I don't really know how. You know, much more you can ask for right there. So uh, definitely, Quinn Lazar has been my most memorable, most memorable teammate growing up for sure. You have a favorite class in school? Um, I would say probably. Uh, I mean, I, I like my business art class because I get to work. So I get to work over at the IC and uh, get to work with kids in the third, fourth, and fifth grade building. Uh, but then I also like uh, I had a digital video class that was real fun too. We got to uh, last year we got to make our our highlight video for our basketball season. So that was pretty cool. We. Uh, it was me and another kid got to do it. It was pretty, pretty fun. So I'd say those are my, those are my two favorite classes. For sure. How about, how about a favorite teacher? Do you have a favorite teacher or teachers? Yeah, uh, Mr. Lightfried and Mr. Conkle are probably my two favorite, favorite teachers. Mr. Lightfried actually uh, teaches digital video, but then uh, Mr. Conkle, you think it's kind of weird, but I mean he teaches Shakespeare, and when you hear that, it's probably the, the most, I don't know, great class you'd think that someone would really like a teacher but he was I mean Mr. Conkle's awesome he comes to all of our basketball stuff and he's just real supportive and uh, both of those guys are two guys that you can definitely just have a good conversation with and that's something that's really good in a, in a teacher for sure. A couple of favorites what's your favorite food? My favorite food jeez I mean I love Buffalo Wild Wings so I'd have to say uh, probably probably wings that boneless wings are my favorite favorite food. So a great time of the year with the NCAA going on right? Yes for sure definitely always Getting to come home and watch good games, whether it's the NCAA tournament or the NIT, it's a good time right now. How about uh, favorite place to visit? Uh, have you ever taken many trips or yeah. gone on the AAU route? Yeah, well, I, uh, AAU, I mean, Las Vegas was pretty was pretty cool. But for as far as vacation and spring break, we, my family and the, pretty much the coaching staff, so the Preens, the Nessimes, and the Fishes, we all go down to Gulf Shores, Alabama. We've been going down there for... Uh, uh, five six years now, a good amount of time. So uh, yeah, that's always a fun trip. We go down there for you know a week and uh, have a good time down there. It's uh, just right on the beach, so it's it's pretty uh, nice and relaxing. Any uh, career plans at this point? Uh, options for school? Yeah, uh, actually, uh, I'm deciding tonight. So uh, 
I've, I've decided, I guess I can tell you right here, that I've decided to go to uh, Stevens Point uh, to play basketball. So that's my, uh, those are my future goals. I'll go there to study either uh, education or uh, sports marketing. And on the day that you won a state title, Stevens Point won a national title. Yes, they did. Yeah. Did that uh, kind of play into it a little bit? I might have a little bit. It was pretty cool that they were able to, you know, catch momentum at the end of the year and win it. So uh, me and my dad, we, we watched the game. And uh, so we watched them win it all. And we're like, you know what? We got to go win one now. So it was, uh, yeah, it was a pretty cool day. And when you look back over the year uh, and your career, what do you remember most about Mount Horb basketball and Mount Horb? I mean, just the... Un, just unbelievable support, I would say, from our from our community, from standing in line for tickets, you know, five, six hours before they even go on sale, uh, to packing the gyms every night, to packing the coal center to the third deck. Uh, I would say that's probably the, the thing that I'm going to remember the most for sure. Just unbelievable, uh, unbelievable fans, uh, just just a great atmosphere and, and a great town to play for, definitely. We, we appreciate every one of them, so definitely. Well, congratulations on a great career and an awesome season. Thank you. I appreciate it.